everybody and welcome back to Movie Files here doing our very first trailer reaction for 2019. There's a lot of trailers going to be dropping this year and this is one of them that I'm going to bring to you guys. This time it is for a Netflix film, uh, Velvet Buzzsaw. So I am not familiar with this film. No, I have seen this movie's title in a lot of people's uh, most anticipated of 2019, uh, whether it be YouTube, people that I, I watch uh, religiously on YouTube or follow on Instagram. So I'm not familiar with this movie. Literally two minutes ago, someone on Instagram that we follow and is a follower of ours hit me up and said, hey, have you seen this trailer? If not, do a reaction. I would love to know what you think. So I'm doing just that. I'm, I literally am pulling it up on my phone now. So this movie is directed and written by Dan uh, Gilroy, who did uh, a Nightcrawler. A couple, two, was it 2014, I think. Great film. Morgan and I were super late to the party. I think we saw it like last year or no, 2017 and loved it. Uh, but you got Jake Gyllenhaal, of course. They're reteaming. Uh, Rene Russo, I believe they're married. Tony Collette, uh, John Malkovich's cast is great. Uh, it looks like based on what I'm looking at, a horror thriller. So let's check it out, guys. Let's see what this uh, Velvet Buzzsaw is about. It's going to premiere at Sundance. It's going to be on Netflix next month. So let's check it out. Critique is so limiting and emotionally draining. I don't know if I mentioned already. I love Jake Gyllenhaal. <coughs> Which one's better, one or two? Better, worse, no different. The him and Dan Garoy and um, Mike Crawl is incredible. Nothing sober hasn't been good for him. Pierce was in the full room. Tony Collette. How is him here? Exactly. No, Killed it last year in Hereditary. John Malkovich. No originality. No so. My opinion. I can't save you. I found something. Who did these? They're mesmeric. A uh, guy upstairs, he died. And you just took them. I had no family or friends. That's not morally right. It's still in a dead, man, a dead man's painting. It's brilliant. They're taking credit for his artwork. Well, that's, uh, I can't think of the guy's name right now, but in uh, no, blind side. Records, and we have everyone. <laughs> Artist used blood to create a reddish black. No, oh, here we go. You ever notice anything about this Using pen? Blood, huh? Look at it long enough. It moves. Okay, here's, here's the horror element. Writer and director. As I research these, I'm starting to think there's a disgust for the world of money. We spent decades in a psychiatric hospital for the criminally insane. Uh, got some twists and turns. Okay. <coughs> Supernatural stuff going on Spirit. here. It's connected to his art. Ah, oh, the monkeys. Something truly goddamn. Oh, you can see is Jake on. is gonna give a hell of a performance. He always has to get that crazy yell out in all his movies. Are you aware that D's asked that all his art be destroyed? Four one one. Never stick your hand in holes. I can't save you. Oh, the hobo man is after you, Jake. Velvet Buzzsaw. Hell of a cast. People thought she was Spoiler alert. Thing. We're trending on Instagram. It's trending on Instagram. <clears throat> Okay, on Netflix next month. So, thriller, horror, again, Gilroy, Jake Gyllenhaal. I mean, cast is great. I mean, it's just like some social commentary on the... I don't live in L.A. I've never been to L.A., but I know that the art scene down there, that in New York is really popular down there. So, maybe it's a social commentary on greed, money, how you're... Art, money and art, I don't know how it consumes you. I, I have no idea, but this looks really interesting. Again, the team uh, in front and behind the camera is A+. Uh, comes out on Netflix. Again, Netflix is just putting their stamp on the industry because, again, when Disney comes this year, it's going to be a competition. Obviously, Hulu's great, uh, Amazon, all the different streaming platforms, but Netflix is number one, so they have to continue to pump out this content. Uh, Bird Box last month, which you can see our review on that. Bright last year, they have The Irishman this year. I mean, there's so much content that Netflix is giving to us, whether it be a drama like Roma, which I love, um, 
you know, Bird Box. Again, their television programming. So they have to continue to pump out this content because, like I said, when Disney comes this year, they're going to go neck and neck. Uh, so, I mean, on, anyway, on to this trailer here. That is bananas. That is a really awesome trailer. Again, the art scene in L.A., how money consumes you, how art consumes you, the greed and everything of that nature. I love that, that kind of that theme undertone in the trailer. Uh, the visuals look great. The cast is phenomenal. Again, I'm a big fan of Dan Gilroy and his team up with Jake Hall once again and his wife and Tony Collette, who hereditary loved her in that movie and she's just great in general and everything she's in john john malkovich obviously has some type of netflix deal this and, and then bird box uh he's a phenomenal actor i mean come on this class is ridiculous uh very intriguing you could definitely expect a review from movie files when this comes out february 1st the month february 1st uh five days before my birthday so super excited uh, to check this movie out. It was really cool. I appreciate the recommendation. Uh, the movie ratings uh, ratings on, on Instagram. Appreciate you sh uh, shout, shouting out or letting me know about this. Really like this trailer. Uh, but yeah, really interesting. Let me know what you guys thought of this. I think it's bananas. I know that it's going to have some type of message in the movie and it's going to have some really awesome visuals and it's going to get nuts because Jake Gyllenhaal, when he gets his hands shaking and yelling, you know he's in for a great, uh, great performance. So let me know what you guys thought of this trailer, if you're excited for this film, uh, and also, what are some of your favorite movies on Netflix right now? Let me know in the comments below. As always, comment below, share this video, subscribe to our channel, follow us on all of our social media accounts, check out our most uh, uh, recent review that I just did today for The Upside with Kevin Hart, Brian Cranston, and Nicole Kidman. Check that out on our channel now. But enough of that. Thanks for watching this video, and we'll see you on the next one.